on um, the beam cutting big. I uh, saw a question the other day about big circular saws to cut through slabs. I'll show you what I use. Um, it is, this is a pretty cheapo one. It's called a timber jig. Um, and I made some uh, plywood up, some eight footers and then a few, a couple of four footers so I could stagger the joints. I uh, ripped them all to the same width, so and they're all perfectly straight. So just screw two um, layers together at five and a half inches. Timber jig just rides on it. There's like almost no side to side play. It's held onto the bar with um, these three Allen bolts. If you do get one of these, when you tighten these down, and you can put it anywhere so you can adjust your depth of cut, but when you tighten these down, um, you gotta tighten them real evenly. Little eighth turn, 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 until they're fairly tight. Um, this is a full comp rip chain. Uh, you don't need to. I've done a lot of the beams that I've cut just with straight cross cut chain, whatever's on the 268. This is a 268 XP, which is a little bit overkill. Um, I've ripped four inch beams with a little steel MS-180C uh, and it works fine. Uh, small bar, little Pico chain works really good. Um, but uh, I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a cut here. This is ash and I'm making a mantle for a customer. A quarter sawn mantle that's coming out of the center right there. Uh, so what I did was I milled, whoa, almost fell down. Mill slabs off um, the ash, and actually I got them sold there under there, so they're not out in the sun. But I got myself down to so the pith is perfectly centered, so the mantle is going to be perfectly quarter sawn, dead straight up and down, uh, and it's going to be four by eight. After it's planed, right now it's at four and a quarter, and I'll mill it out sideways to like eight and a quarter. Um, but I'm gonna run a pass and uh, so this video doesn't get too long and I'll show you how it goes here. It goes uh, fairly fast. And all I'll do is when I get to the saw horses, I'll just move the slab to the side, cut by it, uh, and push it back over, keep cutting, do the same thing at the other end. Try and keep the outboard piece supported the whole time because um, it gets pretty heavy. You don't want it to tear off and rip out a chunk. But um, yeah, so beam cutter mill. This is, like I said, four and a quarter thick ash, and uh, we'll run it. Sorry about all this. I'm just trying to get this thing set up. At least from this view, you'll be able to see how fast it goes if I can get this stupid thing set up right. Oops. Sorry about this. All right, that looks pretty good. We'll do it from there.
<laughs> Keep tripping over that stupid thing that's holding this log up. All right, so uh, you saw how fast it goes through it. And I'll give you a close up of the finish. Did a nice job. It's really smooth. And I've checked it repeatedly because I've built a lot of stuff with it and it cuts really square. Uh, see if you can get a good look down that line. Straight square. So now all I'll do is I'll move this over, uh, measure out so that I can get my eight and a quarter ripped down the other side and I'll have my eight and a quarter by four and a quarter piece. Um, and I'll uh, pick out the best chunk in the middle to cut to his final dimension. I'll run it through the planer first. Um, but actually that finish on the side looks so good. I don't even know that I'll touch it might just slide it over the jointer one time just to Clean up the face, but yeah, it does a real good job. So just wanted to show you um, these timber jigs They have a couple different kinds online But this lime green one on eBay uh, They're only like 25 29 bucks. I mean, they're pretty cheap. I've been using this one for a long time um, and you just got to make sure that you get these snug. Uh, when I first started doing it, I did, I did have uh, this slip and ate into the the mount here. You don't want to go so tight that you that you flare this out. Um, so you know, kind of like I think the old saying amongst mechanics is tight, tight, too tight's broken. So you know, it's snug, 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 snug. You can kind of tell when they're getting tight because when you tighten this one, this one won't be loose. So as you do it, when you tighten this one. An eighth of a turn when you get to this one it'll kind of be loose and then when you get to this one it'll kind of be loose and you'll tell when it gets tight when they're not really getting loose so um, yeah that's it and also uh, you can put a it comes with a fence that goes in here that you can mount in here so if you want to use a 2x4 instead of a 2x6 or what I've found is the 2x6's get beat up and they twist and they're not true enough so uh, I decided to make uh, this setup with the plywood and I can go out just with the one sheet of plywood. I got a 32 foot straight edge um, to cut. I can cut beams up to 32 feet long. So uh, yeah, works good. Um, 30 year old 268 XP, great friggin' saws. Best saw Husqvarna I ever made. So have a great day.